Tell me about the investigation as well, Omar. I mean, the police were very forthcoming in their news conference on Monday about how they did believe this was motivated by hatred and the family targeted because they were Muslim. This was premeditated, preplanned. What do we know in terms of uh, what's no doubt a massive investigation today? And I think if you go back to what they said in that news conference, what was so striking is, is for the police in, in London to come out so quickly and, and say as quickly as they did that this was a hate-motivated crime. What does that tell us? Well, it tells us that they clearly have some kind of evidence to support uh, th their, their position that this was, this was a uh, hate-filled crime. Now, I asked the chief of police about that this morning in, in London, um, and they are not going, as you would imagine, as this is before the courts now, into the specific nature of the evidence. But they are saying, based on the interviews that they have been able to uh, gather so far, that uh, they do believe, again, that this is a hate-motivated crime. Now, whether there will be terror-related charges leveled as a result, that is, of course, the big question mark. This is uh, this will be a federal offense. This uh, takes a little bit more uh, coordination and more uh, evidence. The threshold is, is quite a bit higher, uh, and it is a very rare charge that happens. So that could be something that is leveled down the line based on what we understand. It hasn't yet, but it, it, it bears repeating that the uh, National Council of Canadian Muslims has called this a terrorist act, and the Prime Minister called it a terrorist act today as well. So whether uh, that will actually be, uh, that terrorism charge is something that will actually be leveled towards the accused is something we have to wait and see. But we are sort of getting more of a picture about him as well. I've, I spoke to two people who worked with him at the facility behind me, uh, Gray Ridge Egg Farms, the accused worked as a uh, uh, as a shipper in that section of the building, uh, and and the two people who worked with him are, are absolutely shocked that 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 this is the man who is now implicated in this uh, incident, allegedly. They are saying that there was no indication that uh, he uh, expressed any uh, xenophobic views or had spoken out about any communities uh, in, in a particular manner before. And one of the uh, co-workers, Todd, uh, was of Iranian descent, uh, whom I spoke to. And he said this is a complete shock and, uh, and surprise to him. So uh, the accused, we're told, worked at the facility behind me for uh, about three years generally quiet, and uh, the two people to whom I spoke said that they were shocked that, that, that this individual would be associated with uh, a crime, an alleged crime of this nature. CTV's Omar Sajidina on the ground in Strathroy, Ontario, outside London. Uh, thank you for this, Omar. Appreciate it.